So, I'm going to say this, and I hope someone listens to me. Organized scamming should be considered terrorism. Um, and it's simply because organized scammers, um, and it's, this is where it's just not one or two people doing a scam. Um, this is where it's a collection of people working together, usually overseas, um, to, to try and scam people. Um, if you've seen my video a while, about, uh, a while back about the um, credit card activation scam, um, obviously there's multiple people involved in that and it's inside the U.S. most likely. So um, yeah, um, it, it should be at least considered domestic terrorism or terrorism as a whole. Uh, if that type of thing would to occur where they would levitate or upgrade that charge up to domestic terrorism, at least then that would give the FBI some more authority to do some things. Um, hopefully, don't know. But going on with the scams, um, I got this yesterday um, and I thought I would show this up to you. I got this as a text message on my phone um, saying that, that someone had tried to breach my Chase bank account um, and you know, I need to change my password right away. Um, one, I don't have a Chase bank account. So that's how I knew it was a scam right away. Two, and I've, I've talked about this before, um, chase.com is legit, but this is the thing you're looking for in front of it. So whoever this is, CA is going to, I believe that is China, might be Canada, don't know. But yeah, this is a fake uh, website address. Um, it will take you to somewhere and it'll probably look like a Chase bank account um, what, or a Chase, uh, Chase account website, uh, but this is fake. Um, what they want is your bank account information and your password to get into your account. Um, and so, yeah, um, the first part of any website is going to be the uh, domain of the website. For example, if we go look at mine, and I will bring this up. This is my website. I've, seen, I've showed you that before. Um, but the domain of my website is dojubi.com. And uh, that was that name was chosen a long time ago with the hope and aspiration that my kids would join me in this field. But no, they want nothing to do with it. But dojubi stands for um, Des and Destiny, June and Bill, Dejubi. And it sounds Arabic, so, you know, it gets a little bit more respect. <laughs> but, yeah, so Dejubi is the domain, and then this is a folder of that domain. So in looking at this, this is the domain, and then this is the folder underneath it. And so, yeah, this is a fake website all day long, every day of the week. Uh, the fact that it's going to CA and uh, let's see, where does that go? I think that is China.ca domain meaning. Do, 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 do. Oh, Canada. So CA is the international code for the top level domain of Canada. So this was sent to me uh, and the website goes to Canada. Um, and so for Canada, that makes it outside of the U.S. It makes it outside of the jurisdiction of local law enforcement, county law enforcement, state. It takes it right up to the FBI because you're going across the international boundaries. Uh, and even then, because it is outside the U.S., um, the FBI kind of is a little bit limited on what they can do. However, if we upgraded the crime to a terrorist attack uh, or a terrorist uh, problem, then maybe the FBI would have a little bit more authority. So, but yeah, um, I wanted to show you all this um, simply because I don't have a Chase account. I knew right away it was a scam. Um, and then, of course, when I looked at the um, the domain, I knew there right away it was uh, a scam also because one, <coughs> excuse me, this is like my fifth video today. One, um, if I was going to be uh, uh, from a legitimate thing, it would say HTTPS slash slash chase.com. That would be the very first part, not this Canada domain. So yeah, um, be aware of that. If you get a message like this, um, first thing you should do is pull out your credit card 
and call the number on the back of your card. Don't click this. Um, most banks um, who have um, companies that watch your accounts for you, um, Firelands does that. Um, and uh, I had a client who called me and said that they got a phone call from uh, their bank. I think it was Fifth Third. Um, they watch your accounts for unusual activities. So they're not gonna send you a text message. They're actually gonna call you. Um, and even if you get the phone call and you're cautious of it, tell them, let me call you back. Uh, and then you pull out the card that you have and call the 800 number that's on the back of the card. Um, and it should go, you know, you might not be speaking to the same person, but they'd be able to validate the information. So yeah, um, thought I would throw this out. And uh, again, legislators, um, you know, our congressmen, our senators, um, please start considering um, upgrading these types of scams uh, to domestic terrorism. Um, if Because if, if too many people are falling victim. Um, and one of the tools that you guys need to do is to give law enforcement uh, especially on the national level, um, the authority to go after people like this. Um, even if it's across international borders, um, you know, myself, I would be perfectly fine with you all dropping a small tactical nuke on this website location. Um, yeah, it's Canada. I'm sorry, Canada, but you have scammers. We need to kill them. So um, that, it should be an automatic death sentence. It's just me. That's how I am. Um, but yeah, this is to me domestic terrorism and it should be treated as such. Uh, so, but yeah, if you get this type of a message, always be cautious and leery of it. Look at the address. If there is not an address, it says click here and it's got the blue underline like underneath it like this, don't do it. Um, call your bank directly. Pull it, like I said, pull out your ATM card or your debit card or whatever and call the 800 number on the back um, and uh, confirm it that way. You know, that way if it is a legitimate thing, um, because sometimes, you know, banks do use text messages and text messages go out faster than phone calls. Um, so if it is legit, uh, you're calling into a legitimate source and they can, you know, work with you to take care of the problem. Um, but yeah, this was fake, as fake as could be. Um, like I said, because I don't have a Chase Bank um, bank account, <clears throat> you know, so for someone to temporarily lock my account <laughs> at Chase, okay, yep, go ahead for it. Um, but yeah, this here, going to Canada, yeah, well, uh, we need to find these people um, and, um, you know, bullet in the head would be perfectly fine with me. Um, sorry, that's just how I feel. So anyways, if you found this useful, helpful, like, share, subscribe. If you don't have a Google account, go over to Facebook. My throat's starting to hurt, sorry. Um, you need computer repair. Give us a call. We'll come to you. You can come to us and... We'll go from there. You guys have a great day.